was in order. Not in, I mean, you know, we so often get this wrong. Christians get this wrong. Evangelical teachers get this wrong. We imagine that the purpose of the covenant is that God knows that the world is going to hell in a handbasket and he just wants a few people to be cozy with um, forever and ever. So the point of the covenant then is just, or the point of the kingdom of God is just to ha- for, for Yahweh to have people who are his people and the point of it for them is just so that they will be God's people away from... No, that's not what it is. The purpose of the Abrahamic covenant was so that through the Abrahamic people, God would rescue humankind, so that through humankind, he would rescue creation. It's back to the Genesis purpose. Otherwise, the entire story of the Hebrew Scriptures is falsified. Otherwise, God shouldn't have said it was very good in Genesis 1, if he was just going to let it go. So Isaiah 55 Your thoughts are not my thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so so are my ways than your ways, and and so on. And And this is the climax of the book of Exodus. And they build the tabernacle. And this ain't no golden calf. This is a wonderful work of fine craftsmanship. Because Yahweh has endowed the craftsman with wisdom. And then at the climax of Exodus... The glory of Yahweh comes and resides in the house, Exodus 40. And I have a sense of the sequence from Genesis 1 to the end of Exodus. Okay, it isn't the whole Pentateuch, but there is a sequence there. That Genesis 1 and 2 is the construction of the cosmos as the heaven and earth temple in which Yahweh wants to dwell with his people. And then it all goes horribly wrong because the humans mess up. So God starts this new purpose with Abraham, and that keeps on nearly going wrong. But God is faithful to it and brings them through and all the trials and tribulations. And now at the end of Exodus, we have, as it were, the microcosm, the little new creation. God is in covenant with Israel, so he has come to dwell with them, to live in the tabernacle, in their midst. The New Covenant people, particularly at the end of Deuteronomy. This is how it all works out. And the result, therefore, it's going to be the second half this morning, um, is new creation. As you would expect. If you've understood Isaiah, if you've understood the purpose of the covenant. If the covenant has been renewed, if the new exodus has happened, then creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay to share the liberty of the glory of the children of God.